I got into farming and it had been a long, uh, a long time because I had some horticulture experience. I, I worked at a greenhouse, but I didn't have any farming experience. And it seemed like there was a lot of folks that wanted to get into farming. And I already had a family, so I couldn't um, become an apprentice somewhere and just go and leave the family to work for pretty low pay. With garlic, you gotta you, you dig them, you plant them in November, and then around Fourth of July or so is when you harvest them. And you dig them up, and then you put them in the barn to dry. And all the garlic was in the barn, and for whatever reason, nobody else was in the barn. I was just in there by myself, and you could just you could just smell the garlic that was up in the barn. And I had never smelled anything quite like it, you know. And the, the old antique tractor was in there, and that had its own kind of smell, and and the the earth that was around. And I just, I just realized like right then that I was in the right place, you know. I kind of, I knew that I had, had uh, arrived at, at something that was really special. It takes a farmer to know that you can just take a bite. Not as sweet as can be. And then boiling it for a couple, a couple minutes like brings out some of the sugars, but it should be sweet enough, especially with the varieties that that are available now, then you can just take a bite right out of it and then it should be nice and sweet. This is purslane. Some people actually eat purslane. It kind of has like an ochre taste. A little slimy on the tongue. So what I'd like to be able to do is to to have um, people get to know me and my farm. You know, you go like that and try to listen for that hollow sound, whether it be here or whether I get a chance to, to buy a farm and, and have the family farm of, of my dream. I have farming as kind of a lifestyle where uh, I like to think of, of um, I'm taking care of the environment, taking care of the soil, and that's enabling the crops to grow healthy. You can see that it has larger and smaller little specks. So that's the, the moon and stars variety. See how it has like the similar speckling as the leaf? Yeah. I like building things, and in farming there's a lot of times that you have to build infrastructure, so it all kind of comes together. The next thing that you do is you lift the watermelon up and you look under here for that nice yellow side. And we'll have to let that one. One, two, three. Isn't that fun? Oh, four, see that? To be able to, to have healthy crops that will grow healthy people, healthy families, um, for my family and for other families that would be attracted to, to come and either support me through buying my crops or to come to the farm. Sounds like my son just woke up.